Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt. This is going to run along, similar to the previous one, the kind of escape the country uh, rule set, if you will, uh, where we're going to people. We've got someone in our car. I did see them. They they, ever, they try. One day, someone actually, no, they're never going to get away with sneaking in my car because. I'm not going to notice. Uh, what I am going to pretend is that I haven't noticed, and that as we drive away, we can have Danger Man fall over, and then I'm going to drop them off. Oh, they got out. Never mind. I was going to drop them off as far away as possible and make them run back to their cars, but they didn't, so never mind. Anyway, the way this game mode works, if you haven't seen it before, as you can see on my screen, there is no names, there is no name of players, no maps, and the same for those giving chase. My goal is to try and blow up some cars. Dotted around the map are seven cars. I have to blow up three. Once three of them are blown up, then that can take as long or can be as quick as possible, as long as I like. Once three are blown up, I have to try and get out of the city, head north, and signal to an escape vehicle. Uh, we are using the Dodo Seaplane uh, getaway this time around, so it's less agile, it's not as quick as our previous escape vehicle. I don't know what the one we used last time was. Uh, so it's a little more cumbersome uh, for me getting away this time around. Now, if I leave the city and I'm in the midst of a chase, the plane can dive down and scoop me up because it will see me. Uh, it doesn't know where I am. The plane's not really involved for the first half. That's kind of a normal survive the hunt, sneak around, blending in with traffic. Oop. Not some stuff. Um, so yeah, if I escape the city not being seen, it won't know where I am. So I have to signal it with a flare, which is dangerous because it gives everybody a good indication of where I am. If I leave it a chase, it can follow the chase, but then me trying to get into it is going to be a matter of timing to perfection. We did last time, but whether we can do it again here, I don't know. Uh, we need a car at the moment which is blasting through the city in the Devastate. Um, let us see what we can do. There's nothing fun spawning. I mean, is either supercars, which, well, if I get a supercar, then the hunters have access to supercars as well, and then they're very fast, and then that's scary. I'm half tempted by a mini, you know. There's a lot of them about. Okay, we're going to try and put this vehicle, we're going to put this maybe a little bit out of the way. Oop, up here we go. Okay, orange mini, bad idea. That will give me away. Uh, let's go and wear, I don't know, something like that. I mean, it's just generic, darkish coloured clothes. You're not going to think twice looking at the character. Uh, you know what? Darkish coloured mini. That will... Oh, just. <laughs> Thank you for stopping. I need the vehicle for my sneaking around. So I've gone for the mini. It's not the quickest in a straight line, no, but it is quite agile as far as vehicles go, which I feel is good for Survive the Hunt. It's going to fit down alleyways. It's going to outturn cars giving chase. It could potentially give, like, the aircraft some trouble. Uh, the blimp, one of the blimp's biggest weaknesses is that it can't do U-turns easily, and this will be able to spin around on the spot very quickly and hopefully cause trouble. That's the plan we're going for. That's why I'm thinking a mini with this spawn set. Um, the Rakoto is not a bad shout. It's all-wheel drive. It's quite heavy, so it can't get bullied about. The downside of the Mini, of course, is it is light. If it does start getting into contact, into uh, bumping jewels, it's not going to have a good time. Uh, Super Diamond is not as fast as you think. Uh, I think I have... S Actually, I thought that was a Super Diamond over there. It's not. It's a Rakoto. Never mind. I think I have seen a Super Diamond? I don't know. If one is spawning, they're not as fast as you think. They're kind of okay, but yeah, not really my favourite. Not really my go-to. Uh, while we sit at this light, we should probably have a look. Oh, the prees. So I have a map of where the prees are located. Um, as I said, I only have to blow up three of them, but they're in awkward places. There's one by the exit of the docks. We saw it as we drove out. Uh, there's one in a very similar location uh, by the exit of the docks. It's slightly off to the left. It's on one of the other islands. Uh, not a mate, yeah, it's on a weird little bit. I don't even know how I'd get to it. I think it's by where the Merryweather docks are. I think it's by the entrance to that. So, could maybe try and get that, but it's awkward. There's one down by Grove Street-ish direction. Uh, there is one by... Ooh, the big flyover bits near the casino. Not right outside the casino, but where the big motorways join. That could be anywhere over there. Oh, there is the first sighting of a hunter car. They have very much been released. Um... There is one... Could we move, please? Thank you. There's one behind the golf course. There's one at the Chinese Monument. And that might be it, unless I've missed something, which I might have done. Oh, where are we going to go? I'm half tempted. Do we leave the golf course one? 
until the end. We could use that as quite a good getaway. Um, hmm. Or do we... We are closest to the one by the golf course. So we could go and grab it now. And... Oh, do we grab... Do we grab the one at the golf course, go down to the one at the Chinese Monument, and then go down to the one at kind of Grove Street? That's sort of in a line. Although, we know whatever happens with this, almost guarantee my plan is going to fall apart because something's going to occur in the midst of it all. So whatever plan we lay out doesn't often happen like that. Hmm. What do we do with this? feel like golf course might be a good way to go here. I know I kind of want to leave that one till the end, but what the hell was that tornado doing? It just crabbed its way along the road. It looks like a car from the bloody Driven Till Destruction series. <laughs> Somebody's got a broken tornado. Um, yeah, amazing stuff. Just 10 out of 10 stuff, really. I probably shouldn't have driven as far away as I did um, if I'm heading back up towards, we're actually quite close where I ditched my Devastate. There's a lot of cars around this part of the map. This part of the map is not safe. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to go to the golf course one, to be honest with you. What the... <laughs> well, I don't know what that, what that was, but I think I can outrun it. <laughs> Phoenix is still buzzing around. Why are we buzzing around the... I don't want to be this part of the map. This part of the map is dangerous at the moment. I'm not really liking this. I vote to maybe don't go to the golf course. Maybe I do go to the monument one. It's not that far away. Okay, it's a little awkward, but nothing too bad. Uh, yeah, it'll be fine. We can get to that one. Yeah, we'll head down. We'll head down to the monument one. We'll blow that up. We'll maybe try and get our way. Oh, we could blow that one up, and then we could run across to the docks via a really awkward way around. Um, I just realised I was busy thinking of figuring out a way around. The lights went green, but I don't think, despite the fact there's a load of cars around, anybody saw it. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I have a plan, okay? I have a plan. Uh, the golf course one is going to be my final pre before leaving the area. I mean, they're likely to be expecting that, but we could probably make something work. I mean, I could really throw them off the trail if we get the one by the golf course and then don't leave the city immediately. Because they're going to expect me to head straight out, so... We could do that to try and sneak it a bit. I kind of like that school of thought. I, if you've watched these before, you will know I like a slightly wacky strategy with the... I think I went on the wrong light. But I don't care. We've got across there. Sometimes the AIs don't care what the actual lights rules are, so I didn't want to be on this lane because the AI don't want to wait at reds, uh, so we're just going to go. Uh, there is always a risk going like that because there may well be a vehicle that is... Oh, there's the, there is my uh, escape vehicle. There is the seaplane. You can hear it coming from a mile away. Uh, right. We are not a million miles away from where I need to be. Actually, wait, is that the turning? Is it the next turning? There's a lot of cars around here. It's not really what I want. Plus point in the Mini is when it gets to daylight, I can put the roof down, and then we don't have to worry about the smashed window. You won't notice it. Uh, that is helpful, at least. Can I just get the window rolled down? Let's let that car go, because that's one of them. Uh, right. Quick window down. <laughs> uh, and we've got... Yeah, any player cars are gone. Unfortunately, it is a little busier around here than I would have liked. I mean, there's only so much we can do about that. I think this is the turning that we want. Come on, Super Diamond. They are spawning. I wasn't going mad completely. I mean, mostly, yes, but not completely, completely mad. Still hear the bloody seaplane. The blimp's hanging around back there. I don't know why. But how come you're not going, Super Diamond? You do clearly want to go that way. Do these lights have different rules to the other ones? Maybe? Nobody knows. So oh, that's going. There's so many cars around here. I just don't like this. I don't like this number of vehicles. Uh, really, now I really want these lights to go red because at the moment I haven't got much time. 
Okay, they haven't gone red. This is annoying. These ones are red, though, at least. Cops turn a blind for? eye. Thank God for that. Okay, that's not gonna be okay can I sticky bomb it from here? Where do we reckon the throw is like? Oh, how good is our throw? Definitely not. Yoink! Definitely not. Right, we're going to have to do it on the move. Uh, sadly, I haven't really got much other option in this one here other than to do this. Oh, for God's sake. Well, we've wasted a load of sticky bombs. Oh, fuck at me. Why were you going there? Was anybody around to witness it? I don't think so. We scratched our car a little bit. Now, I'm not allowed to drive too far away before I blow up the vehicle, but we're going to detonate that pre. Now, I have a plan from here that is going to involve a little bit of running a red light, but I want to get on the motorway quickly. If there's no one around, they're not going to notice. Oh, come on, lights. Come on, lights. Just let me go. Or tornado go. I don't care which. Just one of you go. Something happened. Go, 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 go. Because there are going to be cars here. They were not far away from this location earlier. Um, come on. I want to sneak past, but if I do and there's somebody around, we're going to get seen. There is somebody coming this way now. Move, please, please. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Why are we not going down here? I don't understand. I don't understand the AI's logic. They get so impatient when I'm sat and I'm going straight on. And then when they're... I don't get it, but regardless, it doesn't matter. We're getting onto the motorway now. It's the jankiest, slowest way onto the motorway because I'm following a bloody tornado. Oh, come on, tornado, please. Please, get a move on. And I can't do anything silly because I'm sure a blimp is going to be around somewhere here. Okay, that was a sensible enough lane change. I didn't pick up enough speed for the AI there, but that's fine. I can just hear the drone of a seaplane somewhere in the city, basically. Um, I think I can hear a drone of a seaplane. I can hear a drone of something. Regardless, look, there, there it is, miles away. We are on to the motorway. There is a phoenix weaving its way around. Um... This is a little concerning. It's checking the Emperor. Oh, it may have seen a scratch on my car. That's a uh, problem bit, really. I can't do anything about it as well. This was just a frantic let's get out of here uh, idea. I just dove off. If it, if it was checking the Mini, it did a poor job and just dove off the motorway. Uh, there is something going on further back. I want to get out of here, really. There is no easy way out of here, though. Um, so, yeah, we're just kind of driving along here. We could go to... We, we are actually kind of close to the docks. We could maybe go and loop down there. This wasn't the plan I thought of, but it's kind of working. I mean, we may have to ditch the mini. I'm more worried about the scratch on the front end. Um, do we do something. Do we swap our car out? So, the scratch on my screen, it shows up as a scratch. Now, you're not only going to notice that if you're really searching, really looking at the cars. That is true. The thing is, the damage doesn't always sink. So, for a lot of people, they won't see that scratch, so I'm worrying about nothing. But, equally, for some people, this might show up as a huge, like, bumper hanging off levels of damage. You just don't know. So, I could really do with swapping my car for something. A buffalo is tempting... Can I see a blimp? Like, could we do a really... It's very foggy, so the blimp is going to have some visibility issues. I'm half tempted to say if we spot a buffalo on the motorway and I can't see a hunter car around, I might just go for it. I don't want the turquoise one, it's too obvious. If you see a turquoise buffalo, you kind of remember it. So, yeah, let's not go for that one. Uh, any other colours of buffalo? I'm just trying to search for a blimp. I can't see it. Uh, the sea plays just circling the city, but it's so loud I can hear it from everywhere. Um, right, where do I want to go? I think I want to go over this way, really. I don't know what's going on back there with the emperors. They're being weird and misbehaving. I was going to try and use the fog to my advantage, but they've not really found anything to want to swap into. Uh, that buffalo up there might be a way to go. Blimps just loomed into sight, though. I kind of want the buffalo. I kind of want the buffalo and I kind of want to do this quickly. If we can get around, and this is about as secluded a place as I'm going to get to do this. It's, it's no, no, buffalo didn't want to stop. <laughs> it's 
hoping, because normally the AI are fairly sort of sedentary. Normally they'll just park up and let you do that sort of stuff, but that buffalo was having none of it. God damn it. If we could pin one of them like under a bridge or something, I'd be okay with that too, but now we're just looping. Oh, and there's a blimp, so I can't do anything stupid here. Right, this has not gone well. We're wasting a bunch of time. <sighs> Swapping cars about... On, I'm, I'm now looping the same pissing area. Uh, I was wondering whether I should dive down there and get myself in a different place. There is a turning off here, I think, somewhere. Right, this has been a horrific waste of time. I mean, we're, we're at least in the middle of nowhere, so it's not actually giving us any grief, per se. We can keep moving at a fair a fair speed, if you like. Uh, here we go. Now we can get off. The motorway. Uh, I mean, we can go blow up the car down by the docks. I feel like we're, enough time has passed that no one really knows what the hell is going on at the moment. The only problem with the one down by the docks is it's really difficult to get out from that area. Uh, you get penned in quite nicely. So, uh, we can try and head towards the Grove Street one. That might be an idea. Possibly. Uh, whereabouts, what bridge are we on is the question. I'm trying to figure out where I am at the moment. Uh, there is the blimp heading over. I am probably going to take the roof down on my Mini next time we come to a halt somewhere. There's a Hunter car there. Oh, for God's sake, that's not what I needed at all. Yeah, when we come to a halt, I'll put the roof down on the Mini. The AIs are driving without... They're, they're, the AIs do not always drive with the roof down on all the convertibles, but they generally do if it is daylight. So we'll put the roof down when we stop. It just blends us in a little bit better, essentially. And that is always good news. So, there we go. We will do that. Right, okay. I know where we are now. We're at the square of squares. If we take a left um, when we get to it, just go... Basically, we take a left when we go to it, just go straight all the way, almost all the way down. We will get to one of the pre's that we are after. It's a little fiddly to get out of where it is, but I can probably make something work. Uh, they, they're also probably not expecting me to go for it. It's a bit... Is it a bit more awkward a location? If we can get it... Yeah. It's, it's in a nasty location. So... Uh, I don't know. They might not be checking that area uh, very regularly. Oh, there is a police car that's after someone. Or is a hunter. That does happen as well. They do occasionally drive police cars. Uh, in fact, last time it was a police car that uh, got me in trouble. So, yeah, they do sometimes run around in them. I don't think that was on this occasion, particularly. But yeah, so take a left, follow it around. I think I know where I'm going. Look for a blimp. Look for cars. Can't see any. We've seen the Green Phoenix a fair bit. In this one, there's been quite a few cars around us. Oh, there's that thing again. What is it? The em is it the Emperor? I'm not actually sure. I it should know better than this. I should know my GTA cars. Apparently, I don't. Ah, oh, green light. Fantastic stuff. Keep up that momentum. Yes, that's what we need. Um... Unfortunately, not here. Let's get the sticky bomb ready. That was a very pink truck. <laughs> just shot across in front of us. Yeah, we've seen a lot of people this time around. It's been nerve-wracking in some ways. We've never really been searched, though, this car. Oh, even better. Glorious stuff. Right. Oh! Now I 100% need a new car. Okay, I have an idea. It's a bit of an iffy one, but... I do spot a Mini parked in the petrol station. I don't want the orange... Okay, don't get me wrong, I'd love to drive an orange Mini, but... There are suspicions that go attached with an orange Mini. The one at the petrol station, my theory is, the one at the petrol station might actually be unlocked, so I might be able to get in it and go. That car there, that black 
Oracle looked like it might have been one of them. So my hoping, the reason why I'm actually walking so close to petrol pumps is actually a bit risky, but my thinking is if there is anybody that, like, the chance of you seeing a character, unless you're looking the right way, oh, it is unlocked. That is good news. Lovely stuff. Okay, roof down, please. Game. If you would. There we go. Lovely stuff. Okay, and then we can go and re-emerge out here and continue on the way we were headed. Wonderful! That could not have gone better. I mean, it was an all, it was a horrific, unnecessary experience, but it couldn't have gone better. Uh, uh, <laughs> I say. Mildly panicking. Uh, right. Whereabouts? So the, I don't know this bit of the map very well. This is where I'm going to get myself in trouble. I think if we go all the way down, head down... Yeah, I think I know where I want to go. I feel like I'm going to get myself killed because I'm going to get lost. I'm going to get my kill, myself killed in a dumb way going this, this direction. Uh, which is a bit of a pain, but... I'm kind of committed to this plan. I want this plan to work. I say I don't think they're going to be around this part of the map, but we've got hit trying to get to it, so... I think it's... <sighs> They can cover so much ground. Like, when I'm sat here, they can cover so much distance that me trying to figure out where they are is all well and good, but they're going to be all over the place. So, yeah. My theory going to a quieter one might hold true to an extent, but it really is only a to an extent. Another downside of the convertible I just thought about is easy to shoot me. <laughs> Better for throwing sticky bombs out of the car, but much easier to shoot in. It'll be fine. We'll get the tram! I think I've done that once a very long time ago. Are these guys ever going to go green? Are we just going to sit here? And can we, do we waffle? If, uh, I, can, I can keep going. No, we are going to go at least. Um, how do the road work around here? Yes, that was a sentence. Um, what is straight on over here? This one here is straight on. Okie dokie, we can do that. Uh, we will just keep heading down this way. So, if we head all the way down, at the bottom, take a left just before the bridge, we'll go down a dead end, but then we take another left, and the pre should be directly in front of us. That's the hope. That's the hope. Um, I don't know whether it's going to work. <laughs> Blimp's buggered off that way, that's fine. What the hell is going on with that intruder? I don't know. Seems to be some weird laggy physics happening. This is taking a long, long time to blow up our second pre. I say that, you know, this is how it does go sometimes. We just haven't been able to do the stuff necessarily that we wanted to. And that's fine. That does occur in these. We have to accept that. Um, and we've got to not rush. If we start rushing around. But is that it there? Ah, crap. I think it is. I thought it was slightly further down. I thought it was a slightly different location. And I can't go and make this silly turn. Because, well, there's a hunter there. And there's a hunter there. And there's a hunter there. <laughs> They've all turned up at once. <laughs> So, and that's why I can't just go, ah, oh, crap, I've got to suddenly change lane. Because if I do that, there, we're going to get spotted. And sometimes you could have committed to making this turn or whatever and really screw yourself over. I can actually still go the way I wanted to anyway. It, it makes it slightly easier that I now know exactly where the car is. Um, I don't think I can technically make a full like U-turn here. It's kind of what I want to aim for, but yeah, might be able to do something. We'll see. We'll see if there's any way in. Oh no, we can. Okay, it is actually allowed. The AI do allow that one. Um, that's all good. Okay, so this is actually a really awkward one to get to, because while AIs do pull up sometimes and like park in here, it's the getting out part that's the difficult one. Uh, now, so I did see something just leave, and I don't know whether it was a hunter or whether it was an AI. What we have got to do is, when we blow this one up, we have got to get out of here very sharpish. Uh, we've got three minutes, so I'm going to have a good check of the skies as best I can. Uh, we're going to pull forward. I'm going to sticky bomb a pre. I can see the blimp. The blimp's a long way in the distance. That's okay. And we're going to take a sharp left and we're going to blow the vehicle up. Now they're going to expect 
me not to be going this way. They're, now, I'm not going all the way to the docks because they might expect me to be going to try and blow up the, the pre by the docks. So we're trying to get out of here, but in a really janky way that wouldn't be predictable. I'll piss off. There was a car paying attention. <laughs> Is it paying enough attention? Maybe. Difficult to know if that is paying attention to me. No, apparently it wasn't. Obviously, like, me stopping at the uh, stop sign, I think, was enough for it to not suspect me. I am the luckiest little mini in existence, if that has worked. I'm so lucky. I'm so, so lucky that that worked. I mean, it could be calling its friends over, but you wouldn't wander that far away. If you were calling friends over, you just wouldn't go for that. Drive that far away. Oh, come on. Please, traffic lights, go. I really need to move here. I really could do with getting a move on, because there are going to be a lot of cars around soon. Searching this area. Uh, what is going on with that oracle? Huh? <laughs> What's it doing? I have no idea. We've got ghost car behind us. Weird shenanigans is going on. Um, I just want to get out of here, really. We saw the Emperor go across. That's why we're heading this direction. You know, past the Bincident. But that's fine. Are you going to remember a grey convertible mini? Unlikely. I say convertible. All the minis are convertible in this game, actually, I think. Are you going to remember a grey mini? I mean... Unfortunately, you might, simply by virtue of being in a bad place. Oh, this isn't good, is it? What do we do here? I don't really like this. I don't trust that they're not gonna- I don't trust that they're not up to something. I, I maybe could have held, and I don't know whether I could have done or not. That's such a risky one to try and hold, though, because they were looking like they were positioning to block me in. And the longer you hold, if they do block me in and I physically can't move, we're done for. Oh, that bush is a real slowdown one. I, that's a real 50-50 is whether you run there. And I've made a call, and I don't know whether I made the right one. I'm really unsure whether that was the right call there to go or not. Um... It may have been an unnecessary bolt. They might be might have been about to leave us because the truck had left a gap in front of us. Oh, I feel like we had to go, but yeah, we're in a chase now, and I didn't really want to have to be in a chase yet. We still got one more pre to go. I mean, we can try and do the Hail Mary explosion. Uh, we could try and blow up something on the way past out of the city. I don't really want- I don't want to try to leave the city not being in a car chase, if I'm honest with you. Whoop! Is the Fe- where is the Phoenix gone? The Phoenix had a crash, so ignore that train of thought. It's just- it's vanished, it's out of existence there. Um, where is- the blimp is behind, but a long way back. Uh, could we try and do some sneaky maneuvers? Or oh, maybe if my brakes were a bit better. Um, so we kind of want to actually drive at the blimp. No, it's not work because the Phoenix is right there behind us. Well, I do want to go this way. Oh, I was going to go this way anyway, so that's fine. Uh, there is... Oh, no! It has actually completely pinned us in there. Um, why on earth have you aimed over there? Why are you aiming at the people that are not shooting at us? Um, Brazen's got stuck. Uh... I don't know who is still there to shoot at us. The blimp's landed. The blimp pilot is down. Um, there is someone over there uh, that is having a firefight with us. Uh, we're gonna run away now. Um, it's just a middle of a middle of the city. Huge firefight is going on. I don't know how we survive. Brazen got a little stuck somewhere. I think. Um, we're gonna climb up this ladder, and I'm gonna sort out my uh, character. Okay, so we need better guns. We desperately, desperately need some armor. Uh, heavy armor, please. Uh, 
things we could do with is a uh, Lester cool. Lester, please, please, buddy, get here, get rid of the wanted level. Um, hey, oh, how can I help? Right. Okay. You're in trouble. Hmm. Okay. What are they going to think that I've done here? I don't know how the hell I survived this. I really, really shouldn't have done. What are they going to think that I've done? Are they going to think I've probably run and got in a car as soon as I could have done? That will be their theory. I don't know what happened to the saber because a sab there was a saber that I shot at and it ran away. I think it was try. So they don't always want to get into crazy combat. So they're, they're thinking, and it's not a bad train of thought, but their thinking is if they don't get into the combat, um, it, if, if they're getting shot at, if things go wrong they can get in their car and they can chase afterwards but if you mistime it which is what it looks like happened here you end up then basically running away when you have a number advantage but not a firepower advantage uh, where does that go will i survive that fall i don't know how i get out of here someone's found my car gliska found my car um yeah how do i get out of here now they know roughly where i was so do we just wait it out for a minute? Uh, that was the gun I wanted to get to. I mean, the SMG did the job. Which is something. We don't have much health. Do I have any snacks? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's just eat a bunch of them, get some health. I don't know how many I need to fill my health bar, but I'm going to eat as many as I can, because we're not going to get another chance here. Um, Alright, so now we are campy campy rooftop person. That's my escape plane. Don't shoot that down. So, the blimp pilot is dead. Now, another person could theoretically go and get the blimp. I think people got in the blimp that were out. So, they're kind of just going to a, a AFK area. That way, I mean, that way there looks like I could get down one stage, but I don't have to fall after that, how much that's going to hurt. Or do I trust the ladder? That's the other thing here. Uh, right, go. I did just hear a car. I heard a car that didn't sound like a normal AI vehicle. Can I crouch? There's that saber. They're still around here. Why are they still around? I say, why are they still around here? I mean, you know, why are they still around here? Well, because I am still here. Ooh, I don't like this at all. I, I always hate. The what point do you move from being on... But what point do you go, right, I, I can't just stay here forever. I just saw movement. I, just, I thought I turned depth of the field off from the last shenanigans we had when hiding in a bush. But apparently we haven't turned depth of the field off. I just saw movement and I got worried that it was one of them over there. But that is just an AI... Likewise that, it looks like an EMT is just walking past, as you do. Okay. Okay, they're not players because they're not... Like, so, while we could turn off all of the name over players and so on, if they were a actual, uh, actual player, there would be a health bar pop-up. You cannot turn that off. There is nothing you can do about that. Um... I should, actually, if I'm clever here, now would be a good time to go and change what I am wearing. Uh, let's go. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of the bullet holes. I don't know whether they sink. Not sure. Um, I can only do so much here. Uh, right, let's just try and get out of here and blend in in the environment a little bit. Okay, we're blending into the environment. Holy crap. We should not have survived that. There's there's zero percent chance we should have survived that. We did, though. That's the bit that matters, is somehow we got out of that in one piece. One very short... We must have been on the smallest bit of health imaginable there. It can't have been anything more than that, because we, we ate a lot of bullets... We locked on in the wrong direction. Um, the only thing I can think of is Brazen was Brazen may have had camera issues trying to spin the camera around to look at me. And you know the hunters are going to have this same lock on thing as well. They're going to be locking on to each other um, in these firefights. So we're just going to go get ourselves a car. I can't look every which direction at all times. I feel like this is as safer as bet 
is I'm going to go. Oh, really? Oh, that's not what I needed because we might have used our cool Lester. Why did it have a Simeon car? Of course it did. Um, uh, uh, that one. Why did I have a mind fart? Either that or it was blacked out initially and I just completely derped. Uh, my brain's frazzled there. Where the hell do I go from here? I feel like we've got to go golf course now. Uh, the Cognoscenti is an... It must be one of those that's out, maybe. I'm not supposed to be using them. If... Oh, maybe we do... I can't remember, actually. I don't think we've ever had... I don't think they're supposed to be using the Cognoscenti, but never mind. Um, the golf course, I think, is the plan. I think is going to be my best bet here. Uh, there's nothing else this side of the map other than the one up by the golf course, and they probably know this. Okay, so the blimp is out. They have no aircraft to assist them. Well, if they want an aircraft, someone is going to have to not be on foot. And let's face it, we took out three or four of them in that chase, so a load of them are out. Number-wise, they are not as well off as they are normally. For a second I thought that was a player car there with damage on it, but I think it's just a glitchy mini. Uh, right. So, we go up to the golf course, we sneak around the back of the golf course in, uh, I don't know, a car park maybe? Maybe it's part of the side of the road. There is a pre on the far side. That's okay, we can deal with that. And once we've blown that up, we have to get out of the city. There are a few different ways of doing it. Um, from up here, it is not too bad to get out. We can go via the hills, which I probably won't. We can go via the observatory... No, university bit, which is probably where I will go. We could go all the way down to the uh, left-hand side coastal road, which is also not a terrible shout. Oh, they have got a different blimp up. That is Bumpy's blimp over there. So Danger Man was in the original blimp. That is the ghost one. Bumpy has got a blimp out. They think that I'm going to go... I th they think I'm going to go for the car up here, which is not a bad shout. It was where I was last seen. Are they going to put all their eggs in one basket, though? I mean, it does look like they might be putting a lot of eggs in that basket. Oh dear, now we've got blimp wars going on. <laughs> oh, there's rolled a blimp in the sky. <laughs> That's not supposed to be happening. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, there, there, there is a blimp battle overhead. I'm going to just ignore that and wait for the explosion. Please don't f have bits of raining blimp on me. If we could avoid that. Where is blimp battles going on? Oh, I can't see it. It's behind the trees. Oh, the tree. I've got to keep an eye on the traffic because otherwise I'm going to get screwed by that. Uh, yeah. At least my car is quite... Uh, oh, no, I don't do that because I have that. That's my lights on high beam. Somebody might... I don't think anyone's going to be paying enough attention to notice that, but it's not impossible. Especially considering the Ricossos have just driven around there. Danger Man blew up a blimp. Well, Blimp Wars is ended. Uh, <laughs> Pumpy won, by the sounds of it. Uh, right. If we head this way, we should find a pre somewhere, or we're going to find our death. I don't know. I think... Yeah, 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 okay. We're good. I'm just checking on the map, making sure I know where I am. I mean, I'm half tempted, depending on where vehicles are around. If we blow this one up, we might even want to, not necessarily fully bolt bolt, but we may want to get a shift to get out of the city quickly. Uh, where is the pre? Is it up here? We have seen them in the... Yes, it is up here. We have seen them in the hotel before, so be that would make sense. Cops there. turn a blind Enjoy. eye. Okay, I don't see anyone around. Yeah, this one here is a this is a, this is a horrible one to blow up in some ways. Uh, they, they, I'm sure they're going to expect me to be up here, right? We are getting close to the limit of where I can go with this. My plan is, is if we can get a little bit of distance here, we can try and sneak our way out of the city this way. I mean, are they going to expect it? Possibly. I feel like we've kind of got to give it a try. We might be able to sneak out of the city here relatively undetected, but they will be searching this area. Uh, we could go back into the city and try to go out another way, spend more time, basically, trying to sneak our way out of the city that way. Uh, but we are on the road out. 
there is a phoenix that has not got that timing right. They had the right idea, but we just saw the phoenix dive in. Now, the difficult part for me is we have to get to the north of the map. Okay, we can just follow this road. It will take us all the way up to the Alamo Sea, and then we've got to try and find a way of getting the plane down to us without getting spotted, without getting killed. I mean, we've got to do this at mini speed, which is not fast, basically. Um, the Phoenix is already searching cars along this road. Is it going to make a roadblock? Oh, I was really tempted to follow the mini there. If the Phoenix stops and makes a roadblock, I would try and avoid it any way I can. But, I mean, there's so many cars going out this way, is it going to know what to look for? The answer is maybe. I mean, it's a solid enough plan that they've got here. I might have to be a little bit more creative. There are too many cars on this road for my liking. We're altering the strategy. I know this is going to cost me some time, but we've already seen two cars down there. If one of them pulls up and makes a roadblock thinking I won't have been able to get out of the city yet, I would be in trouble. So my thinking is... I mean, this is a risky strategy in itself. It's costing me time. It is giving them a chance to get up north to try and set up roadblocks, basically. The blimp is in a hurry. Hmm. I don't really want to be sat behind this tornado the whole way either. Because I know there's another road that goes up by the... Actually, by the observatory? Does it go up the back by the observatory? This is a little bit of an arsehole way of doing it, but... For safety reasons, we're taking this. Look, the fact that we're alive, in fact, for safety reasons, it's still kind of risky, because that was heading this way. There. The direction I'm travelling in, they're not expecting. Which is good. I can throw them off the scent a little bit. But they know the end goal. So I'm still going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to deal with more of them prepared for the end goal. This is going to be tough. Not impossible, though. <laughs> I mean, this is what we wanted to see as well from this rule set. We wanted to see what would happen if I did get it out of the city incognito. Uh, how we survived... I mean, full credit to the Lemon. I'm pretty sure that was Brazen, who managed to pin us in the wall with an Emperor. Actually did an amazing job to get that one worked. Um, that was one hell of a pin from what is not a very strong car. Uh, normally as the chase vehicle, you know, as a, as a hunter car. So, fair play for that actually being as effective as it was. The shootout was dumb, and I shouldn't have survived, but we did. I don't know what their thought process was behind how I got away. Uh, ah, connection issues have given me a uh, momentary bit of hope. That is a Danger Man in a Deluxo that is not in the game mode anymore. There is Zancudo. I think we want to head along this road. See, I don't actually know this part of the map. I say I don't know this part of the map. Well, I do to an extent, but not as well as I'd like. Maybe we should have gone down to Zancudo rather than follow along up here. We're unlikely to be found up here, but it's one of those, like, do I want to overtake the Emperor? Yeah, of course. But, the eight lives will never overtake another car. And all it takes is one hunter that is paying attention. Or not even paying attention, all it takes is one hunter to be wandering around looking for where the hell have I gone. To happen to stumble around the right part, and suddenly, bam, I'm in a huge amount of trouble. Uh, there is a road that goes down towards Sandy Shore somewhere over here, I swear. There's a very janky wheel from me. We should probably put the roof up on our car, I've just thought. Is there any way I can stop? Uh, yes, maybe there is somewhere I can stop here. Okay, actually, yeah, just... Oh, it's not going to be long enough. I want the roof up, because now if I get spotted with the roof down, it's going to look weird. Um, there we go. That's good enough for me. I should maybe wait at the stop sign, but... I'll do that anyway. I feel like we were relatively safe to do that there. Not perfectly safe, nothing ever is. But there we go. Night time is going to make this infinitely more difficult for me. Because I want to time it. 
I want to time it so as the plane flies past, I can fire up the flare. Of course, that's all very well and good if I happen to spot the plane at the right time, in the right place. I'm hoping it's circling somewhere around. That's, I've just got to hope. And I've hope, I've got to hope, and then I've got to get to the right place to cool the plane down. And then if we do get spotted, we might have to run again, or we might have to have a shootout somewhere. Uh, so it's not easy, this. This, this part. Uh, last time we got kind of lucky with the chase. We could kind of bail into it. That's uh, a perfect opportune Whoa, moment. You, I did not think you were turning that way, you lunatic. Uh, this is a mess. I, I don't know how the AI behave out here, because we never normally see this bit of a map. I don't think I've ever been on this road in a Survive the Hunt. Even the northern area ones have never gone up this, I've never used this particular part. But this road should lead us to the Almo Sea. This should lead us actually out by the kind of edge of Sandy Shores, I'm hoping. Where is that aircraft? Where is the Dodo? Oh, I'm really nervous about this part. Because trying to, trying to park up and get to the water is a whole big risk in itself. Everyone knows what I'm trying to do at this point. I can't go on foot for very long because there's no cover here. No pedestrians really to blend in with. This car is a little bit of a giveaway actually. I almost don't want to be using the felon thinking about it, but I've got no other choice here. Um, yeah, this is actually, I've uh, having just thought about it, this is a really bad call. I need to change my car to something more in Is anyone going to be thinking that much about this? Maybe. Oh, I didn't think about that. We are nearly there. If I can just get there and we can abandon the car and then I don't have to worry about it. Uh, but then if I swap out a car and we get spotted, you know, we then have to deal with a chase in a crap car. I'd rather deal with a chase in a good car. Okay, well, I mean, we're by the water now. My thinking is if we park the car somewhere very difficult to spot, you're not really going to see this car. So, my current thought is if we stay along the water's edge, they're going to have a real difficult time seeing me. I've got to try and spot a aircraft and cool it down, and then not get shot. This is difficult. Where is it? Do I go for that island? I'm tempted to swim towards the island. Now, if I like, hug these rocks, it will be really difficult to see me if you're in a car, and they can't be on foot, they can't watch everywhere, they're not going to have much range either. Uh, I... I'm going to turn up my volume. See if I can figure out where the seaplane should have blinky lights at least. I swear I can hear it. I don't know where I've just got the seaplane, the, just the drone of the aircraft going on in my ears at the moment. I can swear I can hear it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, come on. Come on, aircraft. Where are you? I need to find. I need to spot the aircraft. I can definitely hear it. I just can't see the damn thing. Do we just fire a flare and hope at this point? It sounds so close. I just don't know where it is. Uh, we're going to have to just... It's gone quiet again. If it was buzzing around here, it's vanished. Oh, we're going to have to just do this and hope. I thought I saw a blinky red light. Okay, we're going for it. Please let there be an aircraft somewhere about. I mean, the flare did not last long. 
where is my escape vehicle? Out there is a flying car that is not... But <laughs> that is about... I can hear the damn dodo. It's... There's definitely a seaplane engine. Oh, come on. Turn up. We've got to be ready because there's surely going to be a firefight any time soon. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know where my plane is. My plane is not here. We've got to the escape point. I just... There is no aircraft whatsoever. I can hear the drone of an engine. And it's just gone silent again. Where the hell has that plane gone? Where the hell was that? Over there. I swear that, whether that black thing was just turned up. Oh, there it is! The aircraft is here! Quick! Lado! Stop the plane! <laughs> it was a little bodged. It was a little bodged. It took its time to get down. Oh, we're getting shot! Go! 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 I don't know where we're getting shot from. We're going to shoot at the uh, coastline. I can't see where we got shot from. We got shot from somewhere. I don't think they knew where I was. Oh, okay. That was difficult. I think we've got the plane up into the sky. We are free. <laughs> Good God. <sighs> oh, bloody hell. We've made it, but only just. Jeez, that was close. Yeah, okay. Night time for the escaping is really difficult. Um, very, very, very difficult indeed, trying to get that. The flares do not really go as high or as uh, obvious. I mean, uh, we got shot at. Lado's off. Is Lado giving me the plane now? Okay, we are free! We have done it! We have survived the hunt. We blew up three prees, we got away, we actually took out a fair number of people, and, uh, yeah. Just about made our escape, but it really was a just about kind of a moment, that one. Amazed we didn't get shot to pieces on the takeoff. However, we have escaped the country. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.